Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to introduce a package for making path, 3D path for objects in Unity. For example, we want to simulate a roller coaster or some kind of aircraft or helicopters or drone we want to flow uh, over our train. So we need, to, we need to define a path. So with this clip, we can't define a path. Okay, let's take a look at this package. Uh, Seb Lego, uh, Sebastian Lego uh, released this package, and four years ago, and he had updated this package last year. Uh, I will share the link of this package in the description of this video, and you can download the whole p uh, project as a zip file. After that, if you open it up you can see it has a folder which called path creator and you need to drag and drop path creator to your projects folder exactly like what uh, what i've done and here in the path creator there is uh, there are three uh, folders and the most important one is example scenes take a look at the the first one look at this we have this uh, follower this is uh, we call it uh, follower and it has a path follower and uh, the path creator uh, it's here look at this we can define center transform or vertex or other parameters but the most important one is these uh, you know nodes look at this we can change them or rotate them to make this path curve or dirt straight line or whatever you want and here look at this we can define this path for example something like this and it goes down and rotate with this angle something like this easy to use okay so our 3d path is something like this i know it is ugly but <laughs> this is what it is okay now take a look at the play scene and our follower go at that path we have defined look at this easy to use and as you can see in the follower we said end of the path instruction loop reverse or stop reverse it means uh, from the last checkpoint return to the first checkpoint loop it is exactly like we can see it's never stop and to stop it and the last checkpoint it stops okay let's take a look at another scene okay i don't want to see uh, look at this we have defined several uh, checkpoints uh, waypoints here and here we can define a direct line between these points look at this In fact, there is no uh, you know, path line. It says, okay, just fly between these waypoints. It is exactly like the previous one, but without line. It is easy to change, or we can add anything we want. And the last one is, oh no, uh, the third scene is something like this. We can define a line with, diff uh, with using these waypoints but here it is very interesting one look at this it is a simple object no component no anything else but in the spawner we have path spawner and we can uh, add these spawn points at this part but what's it's doing uh, it generates a path around of this object and it generate a follower around this path look at this it says okay at that location we have defined for spawn we can uh, generate a path around of it and the follower follows this path look at this if I change the location of it and play the scene again we can see something like this 
interesting. And here in the spawner, you can change the prefab of follower and also the path creator. As you can see, it is our path. So we can define another path, a simple seeker or very sophisticated path, and uh, add to this uh, path prefab. And in the spawner, we can drag and drop this complicated path, updated path, and every object will generate that path we have defined in the prefab. Okay, this is it. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.